people. It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, I wanted to talk about, you know, Australia's very own Tim Zhu. You know, uh, Tim Zhu. Uh, I like Tim Zhu. A lot of people like Tim Zhu. And Tim Zhu, you know, he's still kind of making his way up the 154 pound uh, totem pole. And we're seeing just how far Tim Zhu can go. And you know one one of one of the benchmark events in his career that anybody who's been following Tim Zhu has been waiting for is his American debut because you know we've seen him in Australia with the home field with the home crowd advantage you know he's the star he's on Australian pay per view he's fighting a couple of you know decent names like Dennis Hogan guys like that but you know the real start of his career will be when he makes his American debut and now we don't have to wait much longer it won't be long now until he makes his American debut. As uh, they're saying now that Tim Zhu could be making his American debut on the undercard, March 19th. Say the date, March 19th, of Charlo Castaño. And um, he actually has a name. He actually has a, a, an opponent that they're looking at. Now, mind you, at the time of this video, the opponent isn't finalized, so I'm talking I'm talking as if it's going to happen because it's what's been reported. Um, it, it's, it's what's been reported as who could who his American debut could be against and that uh, opponent comes in the form of Terrell Goucher now Terrell Goucher is a fighter that I'm not gonna lie to you I've never been the highest on Terrell Goucher you know I think I, I think he's a solid fighter um, he brings a competent solid uh, professional skill sets to, ta to, to the table he can box he can move he, he brings a lot of he brings some amateur pedigree to the table as well been in there with the likes of uh, Laura came up short uh, most recently, Erickson Lubin, I believe it was, uh, came up short. But not a bad person. To, if, if you're talking about your American debut, not a bad person to open up with. I think it'll be good for Tim Zhu because you know Goucher is someone that isn't known as a as a as a big puncher. Or, a, but I wouldn't. He's not a big puncher, but I wouldn't necessarily call him a, a light puncher either. He's a guy that sometimes has these lulls, or a lot of times has these lulls in the fight. And he won't let his hands go. Look at the uh, Eric Saluba fight as a great example of what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? So I think it could be a good fight, a good test for Tim Zhu at 54. And, um, you know, on a PBC card, you know, it'll be great because then, uh, you know, Tim Zhu, if he's in that whole little uh, circle of fighters, you know, then, then we can start talking about maybe Tim Zhu versus the winner of the, of the main event. Um, Maybe it might be you might consider it a step too soon or a step too early, but we don't really know. You know, I, I personally think that if they put him on that card, and let's say they're putting him on that card for the purposes of seeing how he looks against Terrell Goucher, and then they're gonna think about matching matching up with the winner of Charlo Castagna right away, I still think he's a fighter too away from that. But you know what? If he thinks he's ready, and more importantly, if his team, the people that see him in the gym every day, his managers, his trainers, and all that stuff, if they think he's ready, then it could be a good fight. But you know, just in watching his last fight, Tim Zhu, and I'm, I'm talking about his last fight with Takashi Inoue, I think that Tim Zhu isn't ready for that yet. I, I think, you know, like in, in the back half of that fight, you saw Tim Zhu uh, pushing a lot of his punches. You saw Tim Zhu, um, you know, fading a little bit. There, there were definitely some things he needs to work on. So I think these things got to be tightened up. We'll, we'll, we'll see how much tightening up he did in his last camp, and we'll see how uh, these changes and things apply on fight night but uh yeah that's the news tim zoo versus Terrell Goucher. that's what that's what they're looking at right now uh for his usa debut um i think for the from the Goucher star side of things because i don't want it to be one-sided in this video i think from 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 his side of, from, from his side of things what a what a what a beautiful opportunity for him you know what a beautiful opportunity for the, for the from the from the man from ohio to to, to put a stop to attempt to put a stop to the Tim Zhu hype train in America before it even gets going and get his career back on track because like I said man Goucher's a fresh for me like when he fought I think it was Lubin when he fought Lubin it was a frustrating fight to watch because he just he just didn't let his hands go at all he sat there and he posed a lot but like when he puts his combinations together and he actually he actually throws things when he throws punches to actually uh do some damage you know he he's got some pop and he can, he can, he can fight so maybe this is a fight where he's fighting a guy who's not as experienced as him. Hi, he's 
he's fighting a guy who's not as experienced as him. Um, a guy that, you know, in, in recent fights has shown himself to to be someone that could push his punches and not really, you know, turn them over properly um, in the backhand fight to do the stamina issues. Maybe some of the veteran experience bodes well with Goucher. So it's not a bad fight if it, if it comes off. But yeah, that's the news. To, to Tim Zhu's American debut is being worked on. They're targeting the Charlo Castaño undercard and Terrell Goucher is the opponent they're looking at. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What do you think of that matchup? Uh, you know, take the time to subscribe. Like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content, interviews, news videos, breakdowns, live fight reaction extravaganza. We've got a great community of, of people here, boxing fans all over the world from America to the UK to Australia and on and on and on. So join the empire today. Hit that subscribe button. Take care and God bless.